Hello, my name is William Escudero. The product is Interactive Smart Table version 2.0. Uh, the product owner is Hadi Alafar. My professor is Dr. Masood Sajari. Uh, this is the user guide video for this project. Currently, since uh, only the software side is functioning, this is what I will be um, demoing for the user to, to be able to use it. Ideally, this, this runs on a, on a smart screen, um, but in this case, I will be demoing it uh, on my uh, computer. Um, since the application was done with Electron.js, um, it, it pretty much can run anywhere that supports Electron. So let me go ahead and run the application. So um, when the users, the meeting members, uh, sit at their desk, uh, this is the initial screen that they will see um, if there is no meeting running or, or in progress. If, for instance, uh, there is a meeting um, in progress and some, some member walks in, then instead of this, they'll see, a, uh, they will, they'll basically see the same screen but a button that says join meeting instead. But in this in this instance, you can any any, and I should I should mention that any user any meeting member can initiate a meeting if there isn't one in progress already. So they just touch start meeting, and that that sit becomes the meeting initiated. So then they will be uh, taken into the to the Canvas component of the application. On the right hand side, the upper right hand side here, they have their, their tools. Uh, this is where they can select uh, different tools to, to uh, collaborate on the cams. Uh, down here, um, we have the recording uh, canvas option and the file sharing component. Uh, currently, the file sharing component is not completed. And um, so I, I will be teaching the user how to how to use the canvas uh, basically it's self-explanatory as it was uh, designed with simplicity in mind um, this uh, action this this button basically selects the, the mouse for because for instance if you select the writing tool um, and you draw something on the canvas and then you want to select that um, uh, drawing then you will go ahead and select the the mouse tool and then you select the drawing and then you can um, once you select the drawing or any element on the canvas uh, you'll get the uh, the basically the the guidelines here to to uh, manipulate that object yeah uh, being that you could uh, resize it you can drag it to some other place on the canvas or you can extend it like so or you can rotate it as well and then move it in order for, for a user to um, do anything with an element on the canvas it first needs to be selected and on on uh, next phase of this project um, if the user double clicks the element, uh, a property window will show up where you can modify the the properties of, of the of what was what was being selected. But for right now, this is this is what it what it can do. Um, if you want to delete it, you can you have to as I mentioned before select the first and then uh, press the delete button, and it'll delete it. Um, so let me let me go ahead and uh, and, uh, and uh, go over the the properties of the drawing tool. Uh, in, in here we have the preset colors. So these are the, the most common colors used. Um, so you can select it and then start drawing. It'll draw on that color. Um, change the color. Um, you can if and if you don't if you if you need some more color you can click here. Um, and then a custom a dialogue will come that will let you select any color that you would uh, choose. So let's see. 
to like this one here and then there you have it uh, keep selecting custom colors and like that um, and then you can also adjust the brush size and then it'll draw thicker lines very, very thick lines here um, change the color and they get drawn in that color and you can adjust it back down okay so if you have this going on here in your canvas and you want to basically get rid of all, all these elements then you can select them all and delete them and the way you go about doing that is that you first select the um, clicking tool and then you basically select them all you can then um, manipulate them as a unit you can resize them rotate them basically do anything that you could do with a single element um, and then of course to delete it just hit delete and they'll get deleted um, we also have basic shapes here uh, they're not fully finished uh, I should say but you know you have your basic shapes you have your triangle um, you have a uh, square and a circle and you can manipulate these uh, elements as well as I mentioned before you can delete them and select them all as well and that is that uh, so now I'm going to show how you can uh, use the canvas and drag and drop media into it for instance images so basically you drag any image that you want to be part of the canvas as such you just drag it over and the image becomes an element on the canvas uh, you can always manipulate whatever is on the canvas um, pretty much anything that you can drag and drop here you can manipulate it um, and delete them so um, you can also drag and drop YouTube videos so let me go ahead and open YouTube here and show you how that is done so go to YouTube um, and then um, we can go ahead and um, open any video and by simply selecting the link and dragging it over the canvas a preview of the video is generated with the thumbnail of the video the title and the address you can resize this because as, as I mentioned before it's, it's, it's part of the canvas now and you have the extra functionality that you can double click it and it will start playing and then you can drag this around if you want to basically see all the stuff, manipulate the elements while the video is playing and uh, so basically this is this is all the functionality that's currently built into this application um, hopefully it will get expanded and uh, extended and uh, thank you for watching